Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to ICS Mahesh View College, Darwad. I am Murali Agde, lecturer in English. We are dealing with second year PUC English Literature. In that, we are dealing with the fourth lesson, everything I need to know I learned in the forest. An essay by Dr. Vandana Shiva. In the previous videos, we have discussed the childhood experiences of Vandana Shiva, Vandana Shiva's involvement in the contemporary Chipko movement and her views on monoculture, at the same time the importance of preserving the rights of nature in the global stage. Cormac Cullinan's views regarding separatism and the UN Secretary General's report. Dear friends, in this video we are going to deal with the Dead Earth World View. With this title she writes how we people are using the earth and its agencies without any concern towards the nature. Dead Earth World View, she writes here. The title itself crushes our heart if we listen it. The dead earth, the earth on which we are living, the earth which is nurturing our lives and protecting us from the natural and man-made disasters. If it dies, how one could survive on this earth? But dear friends, the activities of we human beings is equal to not equal. In fact, we people are destroying the natural system or ecosystem and we are making this earth as a dead matter. She writes here, the war against the earth began with this idea of separateness. She again recalls the previous concept of separateness. When we have started thinking of this earth or this ecosystem is different or separate from we human beings, then we have started our activities in the form of war against the earth. Its contemporary seeds were sown when the living earth was transformed into dead matter to felicitate the industrial revolution. She finds the seed or the root of this kind of behavior in the revolution of industry. When we have started establishing the industries to produce those luxurious life, life's needful things and the basic needs with immoral way. Monocultures replace the diversity. Raw materials and dead matter replaced a vibrant earth. So that she tells that raw materials and dead matters are replaced a vibrant earth. Terra nullis, the empty land which is ready for the occupation is replaced as Terra Madre, Mother Earth. And she tells that she points out towards Francis Bacon's views to support her statement here. This philosophy goes back to Francis Bacon called the father of modern science who said that Science and the inventions 
that results do not merely exert a gentle guidance over nature's course. They have the power to conquer and subdue her, to shake her to her foundations. The person who is known as the father of modern science tells that science and the inventions of science are very powerful. They are manipulable. They do not only guide us on the nature's course, but they have the power to conquer us all. They can completely destroy, they can completely take the entire nature in their control. At the same time, they have the power to subdue her also or overcome her also. By that, they can shake the foundation, which means we can easily, the science can easily interrupt or disturb the ecosystem or the natural system of this planet Earth. The statement alerts us towards the while implementing the science we must be very alert and cautious. And she further tells here as philosopher and historian Caroline Merchant points out and she supports the statement with another very popular personality, eminent personality, Caroline Merchant. What does Caroline Merchant say? The shift of perspective from nature as a living, nurturing mother to inert, dead and manipulable matter was well suited to the activities that would lead to a capitalism. We are shifting ourselves. We are transforming that nature which was living, nurturing mother into a dead matter. We are using it as a dead matter in our hands, which is, which can be called as capitalism. The domination images created by Bacon and other leaders of the scientific revolution replaced those of the nurturing earth. The power of science, the knowledge about science which made us to deny or, or neglect the power or the presence of nature and its natural systems, what she is highlighting and she is telling, removing a cultural constraint on exploitation of nature, which led into that condition. Here, Caroline Merchant's very touching line she mentions, which brings out the cruelty of a human being towards this nature and ecosystem. She tells here, One does not readily slay a mother, dig into her entrails for gold or mutilate her body. How painful this statement is. But, dear friends, our behavior towards the nature is similar to that or more than the statement, disastrous one. She tells that our activities, our activities towards the nature is like killing one's mother or killing a person, his own mother, to get the entrails means to get the internal organs or to get the gold on our body. 
how it possible for a child to get money or gold to get some kind of luxurious things one cannot even imagine of killing his mother own mother but knowingly or unknowingly we people are doing the same thing with our mother earth this is what caroline merchant tells and vandana shiva tells to stop this kind of activities her earth university took very significant steps to change the views or the change the mindset of human beings dear friends let us discuss how does earth university functions or how it changes the mindsets of human beings in the next video dear friends today we have today i mean in this video we have discussed how our behavior or our activities are transforming the earth mother earth into our dead matter with the help of francis bacon we have studied we have discussed how can science transform or manipulate things on the world and how painfully carolyn merchant writes about the common human beings behavior on nature with this i'll take a break and meet you in the next video hope you have enjoyed thank you we are dealing with